Hello everyone. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Let's continue with our series of text user interface. In the previous video, I have given you a short introduction about text user interface and I have shown you how you can navigate into text user interface. Previously, I have shown you this example where I have written these commands and uh, I have run this simulation by using these commands. So today we will change these boundary condition by using these commands and uh, we will run this simulation. We have here inlet and the inlet is for gram per second and temperature is 313.15 Kelvin. So we want to change this boundary condition mass flow rate and as well as this uh, temperature and then we want to initialize and we want to run this simulation but all these through text user interface. So let's start with the boundary condition. So whenever you want to define something, so you always start with the define. So simply write define. So now you are in the define folder. We don't know what option it contains. So we know the drill, just hit enter. Now you have all these options available into the define. We already know we want to change the boundary condition. So here you can see the boundary condition is over here. So we can write boundary we don't need to write complete command we can just we can write some let initial letters uh, boundary condition and hit enter now we're in the boundary condition again we'll hit enter to see the available commands so now you all these commands are available do we want to change pressure outlet do we want to set something do we want to change something on wall we know that we want to change we want to do something with inlet and this one is mass flow inlet so it means we need to find out mass flow inlet and here you will see some various mass flow inlet i will write mass flow inlet mass flow inlet now it is giving you uh, this zone id available inlet so i had said i want to change boundary condition which boundary condition of mass flow inlet because there is only one mass flow inlet and uh, it has name of inlet so that you can see over here if there would be more than one inlet could be inlet one inlet two inlet three that you could see over here so you would have seen here inlet one inlet two inlet three so now we wanted to change this boundary condition by chance it has the name same name as the boundary condition inlet the inlet so i have written inlet and i will hit enter i want to change the boundary condition of inlet now reference frame absolute yes whatever you see in square bracket so that is the default value to take the default value you can simply hit enter or you can write yes so we can do in both ways Let me hit enter and it has taken absolute uh, it has taken default value of yes mass flow specification method mass flow rate so again i can hit enter to take the default value or i can write yes to take the default value if i want to change this one i can write no previously i had hit enter so now let me write yes just to try different option now use profile for mass flow rate so i don't want to use profile i want to use a constant value we will come for profile for maybe some complexer problem so here now default value is no it means i don't want to use profile but rather i want to use a constant value so let me write no or i could hit enter and then mass flow rate constant or expression whatever we had defined over in over here in the previous step now we need to define its value now i want to use it five and then I will hit enter. Use profile for total temperature? No. So I will hit enter. Then I'm not using uh, profile. So it means I will be using a constant value. So previous value is 313.15. Now I want to use 300 Kelvin. So I will hit enter. Here you can also see the units in bracket. So I will hit enter. Use profile for supersonic initial gauge pressure? No. I don't want to change any other property so it means I will take the default value it is same over here so for example 
here you see all those options here you don't send set all those options you just take default value so when you say apply it means you accept all those default value the same thing we are doing over here but it calls all those values one by one for all those default value we will hit enter again gauge pressure so the gauge pressure or the outlet pressure is zero and i will hit enter direction specification so we don't want to specify the direction so i will hit enter or i will write no both are same normal to boundary yes and then turbulent specification method k and omega so here when i go back so it has used intensity and viscosity ratio when you go down you see here are different options what you want to use so default is this one intensity and viscosity ratio so you will see all these options one by one so i will say no then it's a turbulent specification method no intensity and viscosity ratio that we had already seen intensity and viscosity ratio that's how we are defining yes then we need to define the turbulent intensity in percentage 5 so we can accept 5 or we can change so let's accept this one then turbulent viscosity ratio so the default value was 10 so we are taking 10 if you want to change so you can write number whatever let's write 8 yes as well i think no no it won't accept yes either you give a numerical number or you will hit enter so you have defined all those boundary condition or you have defined all those parameters now we can check so it is 5 and the temperature is 300 kelvin and uh, we did not change 5 and 10 and uh, you can see these are 5 and 10 okay that's perfect so we have a change we have changed our boundary condition now we want to initialize and run this simulation so for initialization we have to go one or two level up so for that i will write q and hit enter one level up again q and one level up you can recognize uh, that for initialization i need to go in solve so uh, when i will hit enter there you can see there will be a folder for solve so yes i will write solve and then i will hit enter and see two different option in the solve so we want to initialize so here you can see initialize i can write i and it you can see it has recognized initialize and then here we have different option for initialization so same here if you go into the initialization so you have standard initial hybrid initialization standard initialization from which cell zone so all these options over here and you can set uh, default values you can set for hybrid initialization values so you can all set all these values so we can do this hybrid initialization i have just copy and paste hybrid initialization current data has not been saved okay do you want to discard the data and proceed with initialization yes we want to proceed with initialization and we have initialized our solution now initialize has been done so we will go back one above to solve our solution now we want to iterate our solution so i will say iterate I have written a complete word at, and it doesn't match with any of this thing. So I will write ITER, then hit enter. And it is asking how many iteration do you want to run. Let's say 50 and hit enter. Your solution has been finished. So we can check results. So without discussing results, just to see that our solution has finished. Let me draw temperature and you can see the temperature because here the temperature is 300 kelvin and i have applied some convective boundary condition that that you can see over here so that's why you can see the temperature temperature is changing but anyway 
the discussion of the result is not the scope of this video just i wanted to show you how you can change boundary condition and how you can run this simulation so now next question i have written all these commands one by one and uh, when i have written all these commands one by one and i have run all these simulation so what you can do you can write all these commands what you have what you can see in blue you can write all these commands in a single line and you can run that's what uh, this uh, text file over here that i had shown you before let me pull that text file so here are all those commands which i have written with you on this console so you can write all these commands in a text file like this and then you can copy paste at once and then it will run all these things at once it is a little bit complex or it is a, a little bit overwhelming as you cannot see when you write in a single line you cannot see what these commands represent but when you are writing this file you would know what each command mean but anyway we know this for is the value of the mass flow rate that uh, we can change let's make it three and here is the temperature that we can change let's make it to 90 here this one is the 5 that the intensity in percentage we can make it 3 and here is 10 we can make it 8 so when i have written all these things in a single line and i will hit enter it has changed all these things uh, within no time and when you go over here you can see the this one is the 3 gram and 290 kelvin and 3 turbulent density is 3 and turbulent viscosity ratio is 8. Now the question is either you can uh, write all these commands over here in a text file like that what you have written over here. So you will write over here and you can put in sequence. So these should be in sequence because when you write uh, this one the fluent go in sequence exact in the same order what we have gone through over here so it means if you change the order so you might change some values so that's a, a drawback you can say or that's a thing where you have to be careful with so if you make a small change so it can change your command and uh, how we can write this uh, there is a better way for writing this uh, journal file from scratch that we will discuss in next video but uh, before that uh, there is another thing the journal file what you have created in one version so when you are using for different version you have to be careful every version the sequence uh, of these commands could change so it means if you have written a journal file for 2023 r1 that uh, for using for any other version you need to check the sequence so if you will use ads it is there are very high chances that you will the you will make mistake or the sequence will be different i have seen this quite often because i have worked with 2019 2020 20, 20, 21 22 23 and i am using these files and for every new version i always make changes so anyway that's it for today that's how you can define boundary condition and uh, in the next video we will see uh, okay what is the so we have seen the introduction we have changed our boundary condition using tui and then okay next i will show you how we can write a general file from scratch the text file that i had shown you that we will do in the next video that's it for today and i hope you like this video and also if you like the content please consider subscribing and thank you for watching See you in the next video.